and welcome to a new video. And this time I want to showcase a little Minecraft app which I built with Quest Camera Kit and the color picker example, the GitHub link is below, which was provided by XR RobDev. And as you can see by looking around, I can somehow voxelify Minecraft to find my environment using the real colors of my environment. As you can see, the TV is black, the walls are white and the cubes are spawned wherever I look. So it's using the depth sensor of the Quest 3 and I can use it to completely scan my environment. So the thought about that was to make room scanning a little bit more fun and even continue with something after the room scanning is done. So as you can see, I can just live update my environment also walk to another room where another where their other blocks are spawned and i can basically do this to my whole apartment but just for the sake of the showcase i will just go with two rooms here and then switch over to manual placement mode with my hand and let's say there are artifacts that are placed and i don't want them here so i can switch to the tool like the hammer i built into remove blocks like all you know from minecraft like farming resources removing blocks shaping your environment fun fact i accidentally hit my lamp here but nothing is damaged so everything is fine and I can even spawn enemies. So now you may ask how this was built. That's a pretty easy question to answer. So I just took the color picker sample here from the Quest camera kit, duplicated the scene and just added a few audio sources, my enemy here that we saw before, and added the sword and the hammer and some kind of logic. And I wrote my own script, the voxel color picker. I added a few empty transforms for scanning. So whenever the environment scanner, the environment raycast manager reaches a wall, a block will be spawned and voxelized. And you can just have a look here. So that's the transforms for my recast origins, everything, most of the stuff is staying the same. I have a hash set where I can store my voxels in, so I can easily check where voxels were already spawned. Uh, always ha also have a small offset to prevent the double spawning of voxels due to some kind of mismatch or if the voxel grid is not aligned to your room. And the basic functionality is the same as in the original um, color picker script. So I'm scanning my environment here with the environment raycast manager. And when I get the hit out of it, I will in this case spawn a block, do some kind of logic, play audio and set a few references whatsoever. And the main magic happens here that, that I will adjust my point based on the hit and on the offset and then voxelize it, like snap to voxel, let's jump to there. And as you can see, I'm just flooring the current position with my and divided by the voxel size, multiplied by voxel size and adding half of the voxel size to center it there. I'll do this for all three coordinates and I have my voxel coordinates. And for my hash set, which stores the vector three as integers, I will have to convert my voxel position, which um, is in meters to uh, int, like an index. I have to convert it to vector three int to store it efficiently in my hash set. So I'm just flowing it to int by the value and dividing it by the voxel size. Pretty simple. Um, everything else is already in the color picker script, like um, pick the color, where you can get the color where from the currently selected recast. 
and I'll just apply this color to the block. So as you saw beforehand, the color from the currently recognized spot is used for coloring the cubes and place them on the grid in the room. That's a pretty simple example. I just built it on the weekend, in like, I don't know, half a day. And yeah, let me know what you think of that. Um, should I pursue this further? Maybe make a real game with a loop out of it? Or is it just a nice demo? Um, put your ideas down into the comment section. And a quick shout out to all my YouTube supporters. Thank you again for supporting the channel. And if you don't already know it, there is also a Patreon page with our friends from Wavelabs. Feel free to become a member. Feel free to join and get a small present. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for the support. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.